Richard. Anyway, dear Srila Prabhupada, please accept my prostrated obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to your divine grace. One of the many challenges we face in the expansion of your Krishna conscious movement is the diversity of viewpoints that have manifest in executing and spreading Krishna consciousness. Of course, you are well aware of this and advise us that in the material world there are varieties, but there is no agreement. In the spiritual world there are varieties, but there is agreement. That is the difference. The materialists, without being able to adjust the varieties and the disagreements, make everything zero. They cannot come into agreement with varieties, but if we keep Krishna in the center, then there will be agreement and varieties. This is called unity and diversity. I am therefore suggesting that all of our men meet in uh, that all our men meet in Mayapur every year during the birth anniversary of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. With all the GBC and senior men present, we should discuss how to make unity in diversity. But if we fight on account of diversity, then it is simply the material platform. Please try to maintain the philosophy of unity and diversity. That will make our movement successful. One section of men have already gone out, therefore we should be very careful to maintain unity and diversity. And remember the story of Aesop's fables of the father of many children with a bundle of sticks. When the father asked his children to break the bundle of sticks wrapped in a bag, none of them could do it. But when they removed the sticks from the bag and tried one by one, the sticks were easily broken. So this is the strength in unity. If we are bunched up, we can never be broken, but when divided, then we can be broken very easily. That's a letter to Kirtananda, 18th of October, 1973. You use this phrase, unity and diversity, in different contexts. One, that the Lord has both a personal and an impersonal aspect. Two, that there's unity in the diverse manifestations of the spiritual realm and of the material realm. And three, that everything is simultaneously and inconceivably one with and different from God, a chincha beta beta tattva. Four, that our devotees come from different backgrounds but have one purpose. Five, that different varieties of food all have the single purpose of nourishing the body. And six, that we should strive to keep the movement together in spite of different viewpoints. There is tension between unity and diversity in many areas of our Krishna conscious lives. This may be re in reference to different services in the Krishna consciousness movement. That is, one may consider his or her service to be most important. In relationship to preaching, there are also many different approaches. That is, one may consider his or her approach to be more productive, whereas others may consider that approach to be a deviation. There are diverse options concerning management, whether it should be centralized or decentralized, the subject matter of raising children also may be contentious, contentious, etc., etc. If we try to impose too much uniformity, we lose individual initiative, creativity, inspiration, dynamism, the ability to attract diverse segments of the population, and the very spirit of Krishna consciousness. If we allow too much diversity, we break apart, become spiritually weak, and deviate from your vision of changing the direction of this materialistic civilization. Srila Prabhupada, you informed us that nothing external can, can impede the progress of the Krishna consciousness movement, but that our internal conflicts, if not handled with the understanding of unity and diversity, can be a major impediment. Unalterable principles need to be understood and followed Mature devotees should ascertain and accept details that can be adjusted according to time, place, and circumstance. Doing this is a challenge we face in serving your lotus feet. We should appreciate one another and have loving relationships with one another, regardless of different opinions concerning adjustable details. Srila Prabhupada, I pray that you allow us to have this intelligence to understand these points and apply them. Your servant, dear Krishna Das Goswami.